Hey there guys, so as you know, I said I'd show you how to do this. And I'm going to totally keep that promise. So, I love this ground by the way. Look at all the leaves and everything, the ferns. So we're going to be attempting to make a giant redwood forest, which does not include any maples, but does include white firs. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so let's get that over with. So we're going to be using, uh, this map that I made. If it's the right one, which it is. And what we're going to be doing with it is we're going to be adding a few things. Okay. So first things first. You're going to need to create what's called, um, well, I'll just show you what it's called. It's called a landscape grass type. So hit this, and we're going to name it um, forest. Okay, so there you have it. Next thing you need to do, you need to go into your ground texture. And you need to right click. and add landscape grass output. Now to make this work we need a checker pattern. Plug that into the grass and then grab this and plug that into tiling. Then we're going to grab leaves and we're going to plug that into the UV. Now, click on the grass, add an element, add forest. Just got to make sure it's there. And um, one second, we need to actually trash all of this, add an input, add forest, attach those. Hit save. There you go. So that's all you need to do on the material side. Now you need to double click this and add an element. We are going to be first applying the texture on the landscape. So we're going to click the landscape. We're going to drag the mat in. And as you can see, it's a barren wasteland. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding rocks. Those rocks definitely will end up shaping the way the map looks. So, rock. And I'm going to be adding this one. I just got to give it a second. Uh, the minute it pops up, I'm able to switch back to the other screen and show you what's going on. Now I'm using some high poly rocks, so what's happening is it's taken a while to compile the rocks texture, but it will work um, eventually. I should have used a lower poly rock for this. But at least while we wait, well, I can make you kind of hopefully understand this. Your density is extremely important. When using rocks, um, you need to put it at 0.1%. When using trees, 0.2 to 0.3%. That depends. Also for trees you need to turn off use grid. Same thing for rocks. Now the culling distance is important. This is how far you can see the rocks. Uh, for the rocks you need to leave it at stock. For trees you need to add maybe an extra two zeros if you want a full dense forest. That is also important. And hit save. So there we go. We have our rocks added in. All right, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to add another element. We're going to knock this down to 100, and we're going to add some, some grass. There we go. Now, as you can see, 
we add it in our grass. Now the calling distance, the start call distance, I'm just going to knock this down to zero. And I'm going to I messed it up. Okay, whatever. Turn this to zero. The rocks overtook everything. Ah, oh, sorry, the grass overtook everything. So one zero zero zero. So there's your grass. And let's hit play. So there we go. We have rocks. And what I'm actually going to do is turn this down to 50%. Um, and we're going to be adding another element. This element we're going to be adding is a tree. So your density needs to be to a zero point whatever. And the white needs to be, yeah. And the culling needs to be two more zeros. Now, we're going to add another one. I know what you're thinking. It's getting a little crowded in here. Well, that's not true. As long as you maintain your trees, um, giant redwood, low. Like, as long as you maintain the shadows of your trees. LOD1 is okay to have a shadow because that's the one you're going to be closest to. But the LOD that I had two, the rest of the LODs on the trees turn shadow off. That ends up being super optimized. Wait for it to pop up. Now we can walk through these and that is a problem right now. And I'm hoping they'll fix it in the preview version they release um, soon. But as you can see, it looks great. But we need more ground decoration. And that's one of the issues that I have. So we're going to double click Forest again. And we're just going to add a ton of stuff. So um, Fern and Fern 1. We're going to add fern 1. The density is not going to be 400. It's going to be 20. Alright, here comes the trees. Now, flowers usually do grow inside the forest. Believe it or not, I know I've been there. And we're just going to put a 20 on here and add a buttercup. There we go. Just like that, we created a beautiful forest. And control, is it control H, control shift H? Just a second. Oh, control shift H. Boom. And as you can see, it's very playable. So not only do we have grass in the mix, but I'm going to turn those ferns down. There's just way too many of them. But we also have a shit ton of foliage other than grass. So that's still not down enough. Maybe five. Also stick the buttercups down at 10. And we're going to add another rock because we don't have enough rocks. 
Bolder. Uh oh. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you don't add the density. Uh, when you don't add it properly. Just wait till everything pops up. Who likes the rocks that I'm on? So let's just set those down to 0 0.1. We're going to be run over by trees. Now, as you can see, I added rocks, but they're barely visible. This is the rock that I added. So we're going to use grid, and we're going to put that at 0 0.3. See? All right, so this, the LODs, we don't want to cast shadows any farther than we need to. As for collision, we're going to set this as complex and save. Okay? So there's our rocks. All right, well, me, I definitely want to fix my gravel, my uh, grass. Because I don't think it's... Is this one? This is field grass one. Now I've turned off cast shadows to all of them. Save. And I've also turned on auto compute. We're going to turn that off. And for LOD, we are going to set M underscore fields low. And hit save. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix the grass right now to make it look good. See, I want it to look like that. But that's another problem that I'm going to have to figure out myself. Anyway, there you go. That's how you do um, what's... You know, the up next is the, 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 the procedural foliage spawner. All right, guys. So thank you for watching, and I hope this definitely helps. I got to go fix this grass. Bye.